Hey everyone, I am here with another flipbook share. I have been really into making these and I thought I would show you the third one that I've made. This one is for Erica, who is Marcy's Crafty Mama here on YouTube. I'm gonna link her YouTube down below in the description box. Definitely go check her out. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how this flipbook ended up looking. So uh, this is the, I guess the opening part, the front, I don't know, I always call it the front. Um, very simple, I always like the front to kind of be simple. I've been putting a lot of thickers on the front. Um, uh, just so I could use up my figures, but also I kind of like the personal touch. So I put her name here. These are chipboard ones. So I always adhere these on anything like cards or anything like that with a little bit of extra Tombow. Um, I just feel like they tend to fall off if you don't, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe mine are just really old. Um, I use some scrap paper, a little bit of washi, um, skinny washi running along there. Um, there was actually a little hole here, like a punched out hole. So I added a little jump to cover it up. Um, and then I added a Captain America sticker because I'm me. So um, so that is that side. And then when you go on the other side, I really like this one. Um, just a bunch of different stuff, a lot of layering. I really try to work on layering. I love the way it looks, but I'm not the greatest at it. Um, however, I just tried my best here. Um, some chipboard, uh, lots of doilies, lots of cutouts, some, a little bit of washi here. I've been saving, well, hoarding these felt cloud stickers for years now. I just decided to use them all up. Um, and then these enamel dots are actually from Freckled Fawn. I've been hoarding those for years too. Just gonna finally use them. So I, I actually like the way this turned out. A little bit busy with colors, but um, I think the layering turned out pretty good. I always try to make this like back side a little bit more busy um, since this side is a little bit more plain. And since this is how you first receive it, I just kind of think it looks nice that way. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. I always kind of tend to use one of these Velcro things since I bought them and they're kind of neat. Um, so when you open this up, ta-da! You've got this going on in front of you. I'm just gonna go through this pretty quickly. This first little envelope section has um, a big old stamped image. This is actually given to me by, I believe, Christine, who is Miss Lello Scrapper. Um, here on YouTube. Uh, I didn't color it in. I kind of just left it black and white, but I did color in the little heart. I thought that turned out nice. Um, a lot of layering here. This is actually a journaling card with a little bit of washi running across there. I thought this top part looked a little bit empty, so I added one of these little bug, like, hanging over sticker things um, from Target, and then I didn't actually end up liking the way it looked, but I was, it, it, it stuck on there, so I didn't want to, like, peel it off and risk, like, ripping things, so I just left it on there. I think it'll be fine. Um, uh, some sequins, just some other stickers. Um, I kind of like the way that turned out. Lots of color. And then there is a little letter in this envelope. So just a little letter. Um, I always tend to put a little letter and just a couple of goodies in the other envelopes. I don't know what else you're really supposed to put in them. <laughs> um, so I always try to find like really flat things that I can put in kind of like when I do um, uh, pocket letters. So anyways, the second uh, section here panel has, um, oh, my favorite part of this panel is actually these uh, leaves that I put on. I layered, layered about four leaves here underneath the light bulb stamped image. I think it kind of looks neat. So not go too much going on here. I kind of kept it very simple. Um, scrap paper that I turned into a banner, some dark washi running along the top, uh, this very fun gold doily. Again, the leaves I stamped out this uh, a light bulb image. I just had a sticker that had love on it. These are just some chipboard stickers that I recently got. Um, some random little things here and some gems. So nothing, nothing major. This one I also try to do a lot of layering on. I use up some more scrap paper here. Um, I had half of a huge heart doily there. Um, a little doily there. Some uh, confetti that I actually purchased recently at Target it's from their three dollar bin, and it's literally just punched out circles. And I should have just punched out circles myself, but. Uh, there's like so many in here. I'm never going to run out. So um, I bought those and then uh, I've punched out a bunch of the or, uh, Stamped out a bunch of these little girl images from an AHA art stamp set and then I just fussy cut them out This is just a nice big journaling card and a little sequins down here as well And so and then yes, there are little little things inside the envelopes there So that's the inside and then the outside, so, so far you have seen this, and this, and then this part.
part is the only um, panel we haven't really seen. So I always try to keep, if I'm gonna do anything that's really bulky, I'll try to keep it on this inside panel because I know it'll be inside um, once I fold everything up. Um, I pretty much just use up a bunch of um, scrap paper. So a little bit here, a little bit here. I used a bunch of washi here. I used some gems down here. Um, I absolutely love this little crafty bow that was given to me by um, Erica actually she gave it to me and so I thought it would be really cute on here um, used another doily I'm like have millions of doilies so I've been trying to use them as much as possible and a little stamped out image of that panda superhero that I've been loving um, put him on a little tag from Target looks pretty cute so that is that side And I used up this purple um, envelope uh, pack already. They it can't, comes in a pack of 12. My, this random pack came with 13, so I have one random one. Uh, however, these come in a pack of 12, so I typically can make you know um, uh, four sets with any given um, pack of these. I like them. They're really nice envelopes. I kind of wish they were a little smaller, but um, you know, pretty good. So that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you guys want to see more of these type of videos, let me know. Um, go ahead and comment, subscribe, like, all of that good jazz. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.